Okay, guys. Let's do it. We have lights. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? I believe it is. I believe it's something. Here's one for me. Here's one for Hard's Dead. Actually, here's one for Hard's Dead. You know who I'm talking of. You know who you are. You know who you are, buddy. You know who you are. You know who you are. I need not say it. What's up, Tristan? You guys, here we all are. I mean, we got power. You know? Here we are with power. Huh? What's good, dude? What's good? There's all this stuff everywhere. I'm just getting a spot off. I'm getting a spot off on my people. How's life? Dude, life is amazing. Life is amazing. No, life's cool, dude. Um, We're getting through it relatively well. Relatively well. We're happy about it. How's life with you? Uh, you got to light. It's always a trick to like these guys sometimes. It's always a little tricky. Always a bit, a bit tricky. There we go. Oh, we almost got it that time. It's so hard. Tristan's like, what are you doing? Tristan's like, you're an idiot. Yeah, I'm just trying to light this candle. Give me a break. Give me a break, will you? I hate this part. It's tough to light these cheap Walmart candles. There we go. There we go. Let's see this guy lit too while we're at it, huh? All the good guys. Here we go. Now we got all the good guys going. What state am I in now? I'm somewhere around Oregon. Good question. Good question. Around Oregon and Washington, that type of stuff. That type of stuff. Let's see who we got here. Tristan, you're the best. Oh, and Kim Kimberly came in and out. But Tristan, you're a mechanic? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I made friends with my mechanic recently. I needed a mechanic. There he was. Good guy. Mechanics, you need them when your shit breaks. Exactly when you need them. And probably other times too, huh, Mr. Mechanic? When else do people need you? And they don't think about it. But they always need me. They need proper maintenance. Routine maintenance, all that stuff, right? Oh, you're a machine mechanic. Cool. That's even cooler. I mean, you got specializations where, like, they can't even operate in the industry without you. You got whole industries need your help, bud. You'll be, uh, you'll have job security as long as we continue to have machines, I would venture to say. Um, cool, man. So, like, um... What do you new? What do you normally work on? Like, do you get called to like uh, big factories or like what type of machines you be messing with, man? Small machines? What's the deal? Copy machines? Fax machines? Brother Dank's a hell of a host, by the way. <laughs> what a what a host! What a uh, what a gracious host he is point that out. Just to let everybody know. We got it going on around here. Seriously, do you get called into jobs? Do people bring you the machine? What happens with that? Tell me about it. Do people come to you with a broken machine or do you like go up to the machine and say, let me fix this bitch? High demand for mechanics. You do field sealing, food sealing machines, triangle sandwiches, hoagies. Whoa, man. Whoa, dude. You do food sealing machines, so like, if I bought a, uh, if I bought a, a ho-ho, or a ding-dong, or a, a, a Twinkie, and it's sealed properly in the package, that's because you took care of the machine. Is that what I'm led to believe here? Is that what I'm to understand? 
Is that the type of stuff you seal? Do you seal like potato chip packet? Like, what do we have to give thanks for, man? Wow, dude, that is awesome because who doesn't love fucking ding dongs and ho hos being perfectly sealed and fresh on opening? Man, if those machines weren't working right, everybody should be stale and rotten. Man, you, you are coming through for so many millions of Americans in ways they never even conceived of. They don't even know enough to be thankful for, you stupid Americans. You know? That's how I feel about you, bro. That's how I'm feeling on it. That's just my opinion. That's just the way I see it. I'm sure you probably are inclined to agree, though. Things that it's your job to, to do so and agree with that sort of sentiment. Yes. We are the we are the men and the women who make your who make your life possible. Otherwise, you couldn't eat anything. Couldn't eat anything by modern standards. That's cool stuff, man. So, have you always been handy? Like, were you like breaking your Nintendo apart and shit as a kid? Or like, um, were you like breaking down the lawnmower for your, your dad's lawnmower? And leaving parts everywhere. What happened when you were coming up that you were into that? Hundreds of thousands of products. He said everything. He touches everything. If it's got a seal on it, it's his responsibility to make sure that seal takes place. I like it. I like that, buddy. Radios. Oh, you take the radio apart. Man, they got transmitters in there. Oh, dude, wasn't there this cool trick? Something about a radio and um, something about batteries and a radio. Hold on. There's some kind of trick, right? What's the deal with batteries and radios, man? Can you, like, turn the battery into a radio or some shit like that? Or, like, if you pass the battery over the radio or something? I forget. What happened with that, man? Does that make any sense? Or not? Nah? What's the deal with radios and batteries? I used to work in radio. I did. Having a clue. I don't know about all that bullshit. Yeah, me either. I was just kind of, I was just grabbing at the air there. I used to work in radio, though. Yes, I did. In high school and college, professional professional career life, worked in radio for a bit. Did not pay that well. Radio is dead, by the way. Radio is goddamn dead. If you ever listen to the radio lately, goddamn, it's dead. It's horrible. It's horrible, dude. You listen to the radio, they're not even live. Like the DJ who pops in and say, hey, this is DJ Sister Snatch. And I was just, man, the traffic today, wow. I thought I was going crazy. The traffic was really bad. And then they go into the song. That's just not even live, dude. They record that shit. They say, oh, man, the traffic's really bad today. Da, 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 da. Boop. Put it on record. And as soon as the song's about to play, they're going to put it in the computer. Oh, oh. And then you hear, oh, the traffic's really bad today. And then it's not even live. Can you believe that? They don't even do live drops, dude. They're too pussy to do live drops. In case somebody curses or if you don't get it right, we got to be perfect. You thought about watching thought about watching WKRP in Cincinnati as a kid. You thought about watching that, but then you were like, ah, that's some cheesy-ass sitcom. But I thought about watching that show. I like that. I like that. See, what I did was, I had a, uh, I did a social studies fair on the radio, and Marconi and shit, and, uh, I am hilarious. God damn it. I did a radio show, a uh, 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 science, social studies project on Marconi and radio. And I went, went to visit the radio station as part of my project. And basically they were like, give this young man a job. We don't want to work the fucking night shift. He's young strapping. We'll get him some training. He'll be a professional before long. And that's what happened. That's what happened. They brought me in. They trained me on the board. They stuck me on nights and weekends. They're like, please work these fucking shifts. And man, I was like, I was like working the board, you know what I'm saying? Like pulling up the satellite, like. Fucking shutting down the transistor and shit, and playing the uh, playing the uh, the sign off cart at fucking ten fifty nine and all this, you know, like um, Star Spangled Banner and fucking turn the transmitter down and take the numbers for the uh, FCC log and everything, and everything, buddy. We did it real pro like, real professional. That's how that's how it used to work, anyways. Now you need creds. You know, they say you need a license and stuff, but I've got enough professional experience. I'm going to just walk into the radio station and say, put me on. Put me on. You might, you, honestly, a lot, of, a lot of bigger market stations, they are going to require that you have your uh, your licensing. Also, some training on their bullshit-ass computers when you got to go live, when you're not live, that type of shit. All your standard operating procedure for live corporate radio. 
they want you to know that sort of thing and have some experience in this matter and be good company men and, and, and do what the music director says. The program director and the music director work hand in hand to make this station all that it could be. That's why we play the same fucking oldie songs every single day, the same 20 fucking oldie songs every single day, because we know you fucking love to hear Bohemian Rhapsody every day of your goddamn life. Because we're the program directors. We're the music directors. Seriously. Seriously. Hey, Portland, uh, do y'all need a better fucking radio? I think you do. You know who your man is, right? You don't need fucking station directors. Just fucking let me loose in the fucking pile, and I'll put it all together. It's a gimmick. Lots of classic rock. I mean, the thing is, classic rock's great, but I'll, there's more classic rock songs than three. There's more than three of them. There's more Queen songs than the fucking We Are The Champions. Oh, wait, uh, they, they always play We Will Rock You, We Are The Champions, and then Bohemian Rhapsody, and then they play, uh, sometimes they play, um, uh, you know, uh, another Queen song. Too much. That's it. Shit makes me mad, if you couldn't tell. If you couldn't tell, that really fired me up. Well, what else, Tristan? We talked about our professional careers. What about recreation? What do you do to recreate? What do you do to spiritualize yourself? What are your other hobbies and interests? We used to have pirate radio in California, played everything. Yeah, right? Yeah, right? You ever seen uh, Pump Up the Volume? Pump up the volume, you guys. Christian Slater, I believe, was in that. Christian Slater. You know that pirate radio is illegal? Did you know that? Did you know that they don't have their FCC license? But on, on another tip, I worked at a commercial radio station. Local commercial radio. You love Mexico? I'll go a lot. Nice. I want to go to Mexico. Um, that was like a commercial radio station I was at, but we played like old soul and R&B. So if it was like a song with a curse word or something like that, it was real. I just let it roll, dude. You have Camille Yarbrough talking about shooting up and getting fucked up and all this. That's her goddamn right. Right there on the radio, dude. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, that was Camille Yarbrough talking about getting fucked up. You know, in the spirit of uh, in the spirit of education, and uh, in the name of uh, of public discourse as a public service. As a public service, I played all the curse words. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. But I didn't curse myself. Unless the song had a curse word. And the song was called Fuck You Bitch. Like, that song was called Fuck You Bitch. Yes, sir. Being very proper about it. From the Sis and That album, 1978. It's called Fuck You Bitch. Yep. That's how we do. That's how we do. To be truthful. To be truthful. That's exactly how we do it. Play like contemporary poetry on the radio. Like people be tuning into my radio station and be like, "God damn, this dude's just going off, man. What is this? Like real radio, real radio, baby. Heroin, a hell of a drug. Feels so good, but so hurts so good. Just like that girl sang. What's her name? Hurt so good. I forget her name. Um. Anyway. Anyway, my friend, what we're doing is we're coming up on the bowl. If you haven't noticed, we're gonna come up on it. And. Uh, this guy said, be careful, you're going to lose some to the container. I'm like, ah, fuck you. I don't care. But I do care right now. The guy said I'd lose some to the container and he would write. Okay, here's what we'll do. We had a pretty good chat. Let's log this one, because the longer they are, the harder they are to upload to YouTube. And let's restart, Tristan. I trust you'll be with me. You guys do write in fear no man. Subscribe to this channel. We'll be right back. That was some good radio chat. That was some good professional career-driven chat right there. Uh, between the engineer... And the talent, the engineer and the announcer, right? We could open up a radio station, me and you, buddy. We have just about everything you need. We got an engineer. We got talent. Let's get licensed. Okay, we'll be right back. Y'all stay up. I mean, we'll be right, right back.